on my last test, I did some um, uh, comparisons of the slow motion resolution on the Sony FX6, but I was asked from um, a couple of colleagues to see what the Sony FX6 does in Super 35 mode, which is uh, closer to HD resolution, so it doesn't have to do a lot of uh, pixel binning and line skipping or whatever it does in high frame rate and full frame. And also, since I'm doing a Super 35, um, a Super 35 test, I might as well throw in the FS7 there and see what that sensor did in the higher frame rates and just compare the two. So we have a bit of an understanding of what's happening um, compared to what most of the people were used to when they were using an FS7. So here we go, get stuck in. This is the first um, 25p frames from the FS7. I'll use 200% magnification here in Resolve just so we can see the differences a bit better. Um, yeah, my chart is uh, starting to get a bit um, a bit dented. I need to change that. That's all good. It's just a printout. It's really just a piece of paper, actually. Um, anyhow, let's get stuck into it. So this is the FS7 at 25p. We're going to get to the FX6 at 25p. Um, it's a bit uh, a bit of a sharper image, which uh, suffers a bit more aliasing, I think. Um, the FS7 is a bit smoother. We'll make sure we're here at 200%. That doesn't change. I think that the FS7 and HD, um, stock HD 25p is a bit smoother. Um, but, uh, I've gone through all that in another test. So you just go through my channel and have a look at the other video if that's what you want to look at. So we're just going to up the frame rates now on the FS7. And uh, at uh, 60p, uh, we're still uh, not in the high speed mode of the FS7. So high speed mode is off. So the resolution is pretty similar. Um, but when we get into high speed mode and the at 100 frames per second, obviously you see the FS7 start um, struggling with uh, probably line skipping. Um, definitely throwing some pixels away, which uh, result in this heavily um, more aid and the liest image. And we go up to 150 frames. Um, it's pretty similar. I can't see very big differences. The colors may change, which is probably because of my exposure, because of the shutter speed changing. Um, but uh, as far as resolution is concerned, I can't see very much of a difference between um, the 150 frames per second and the 100 frames per second on the FS7. So this is 100 and this is 150. Um, I'll put all these uh, stills as usual at the end of this video so you can all make your own um, assessments too. And let's do, let's go to the FX6. Again, I say this is FX6 on Super 35 mode and high def, in which the highest frame rate that we can do is 120 frames. It doesn't go up to 240 in Super 35. So this is a 25p. Uh, this is at 60p, at 100p and 120. There is absolutely no difference between all the high speed frame rates on the FX6 when it is in Super 35 mode. And just as a comparison, if we compare the FX6 120p to the FS7 100 and 150, you can see that there is a massive difference. Uh, in Super 35, the FX6 does brilliantly well up to 120 frames per second. And um, if I was to say that um, it was a mode I'd choose, that would be definitely it if I wanted 120 frames. So either 120 frames uh, in um, Ultra HD or 4K, which will work perfectly on the FX6, or if you want to go 120p, I'd say the Super 35 crop is the best way to go.